Okay. So we have an example. How long would it take for a plank of plain plywood half a millimeter thick initially at room temperature under heat flux of 20 kilowatts per meter squared? How long would it take to ignite? So we can use our equation. We can use our equation to ignition within is equal to rho CPL times temperature ignition minus temperature initial divided by the heat flux. And so we can plug in our variables. We have temperature ignition fan is equal to 640 kilograms per meter cubed. Specific heat is, we did this before, 2.85 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The length is 0 0.5 millimeters, which is a thousand millimeters in one meter. So we'll do that math along the way. And then we have an ignition temperature ignition temperature of 663 Kelvin. 663 Kelvin minus 298 Kelvin. <laughs> divided by our heat flux of 20 kilowatts per meter squared. So when we put this on our calculator, we have 640 times 2.85 times 0 0.5 divided by 1,000 times parentheses 663 minus 298 close parentheses divided by 20. So we get a ignition time for thin equal to 16.6 seconds. So we want to ask the question, is this reasonable? So once again, we're not we're not we're not on the order of microseconds, which is good. We wouldn't want to. We saw that it takes microseconds to ignite the cloud of methane and oxygen, so it shouldn't be on the order of that. We are less than we are less than the ignition time for thick. Time ignition for thick, which is good. We wouldn't expect something thin to ignite slower than something thick for the same uh, heat flux. So we're going to say, is it reasonable? We think so. It seems between two reasonable boundaries. 